Hey everybody, it's Sharice. Let's see if I can show you. Hi, can you see me? <laughs> I cannot, I guess once you start videotaping one way, you can't switch the camera. But anyway, I don't know if you can see me right now, but um, I'm out here with my camper and I wanted to give you my a, a tour of my vintage camper. I haven't made a video of it yet. And so I thought this would be a good day to do it. So here we go. Um, this is my, it's my Prowler camper. I got it this winter of all times to buy something like this. Um, but it's a 1981, 22-foot bumper pull Prowler. And you see that it came, um, it's in good condition. Like it didn't have any mold on it or anything like that that you can see. And I decided to, I spray painted that aqua blue line on. I think I did a pretty good job. I did that about six weeks ago or eight weeks ago with a Rust-Oleum spray paint. And then there's my, the front part, which that rock guard needs to be replaced. Haven't gotten that far yet, probably won't this summer. And um, not even sure exactly what I'm gonna do right there. Might even do aluminum or something right there. And then I need, I have like those nice large propane tanks. I need to clean those off, maybe paint them. Haven't made it that far yet either. So let's see, come around this side. So um, I park it out in a storage facility and the man's really nice. Russ is his name and he lets me just kind of park it out in the middle because I'm not good at backing in. It would normally go in that spot right there but I can't do that yet. So he lets me just park it right here. And there's my, my aqua blue line. I thought about doing more blue on the bottom, but I thought, well, I'll just keep it simple. And then I also did a clear coat over the burnt orange to kind of make it pop a little bit better. And I think it turned out really, really cute. And my camper was in perfect condition when I got it, but I caused this little mess up. Um, I had a run-in with the fence out here. Yeah, I got too close. So I, you know, didn't allow enough swing room. So live and learn. It really kills me. I got to get that fixed. And then I have my little, my little happy camper cover and um, permanently registered. And then I have my little, <laughs> I couldn't wait to put this on. So I've been camping in Montana and Idaho so far. That's all. So anyway, let's see here. That's my little table. I got it because you're not a proper glamper if you don't have a cute little table to set outside. So I got that at the thrift store. I think it's perfect. It has cute little sayings on it. And then my friend gave me this little battery-powered lamp. She gave me two of them, actually. And um, in here I just keep... In here, I just keep games. Well, that's a cool, some cool rocks we found in Idaho. Kind of granite, candle, games. It's just a neat little deck of cards, neat little table. So here's our steps. I, I haven't painted my steps either because I just didn't think it needed it. I don't love to paint. I don't mind painting, but as you can see, the interior is this this wood and I've so far I've just left it most people paint it white when they get a vintage camper or they paint it a color but I don't like those plastic things hanging there but they were here they were in it when I bought it and they're functional for hats and coats so I just left them um, but here's my my cute little camper so as you come in you have this nice little my little coca-cola um, what not that I got that's from my childhood. My dad was from Ada, Oklahoma, and it says Ada, Oklahoma on it. Let's see. And then um, there's lots of storage in this camper. This is the dinette area. Oh, get that off there. Um, and I made, I made those curtains, which I think turned out really well, and I added the pom-poms. Let's see if I can get more light here. Um, seems kind of dark. Anyway, and then, um, look, I'm ready to have some coffee with somebody. And I just kind of decorated it out. So those curtains are, like, got the aqua with the red and pink roses. And 
and uh, I left, I'm leaving the bottom cushions as a little stain right there, but it's not too noticeable in real life. But I made those little cushion covers, those red cushion covers with indoor outdoor fabric recently. I just did that a couple weeks ago and they turned out so good. I've never done anything like that before, but look how good they turned out. And they were only 10 bucks a piece because I got it on the fabric on sale. And then I made the little pom-pom pillow to go with the curtains. So it's really cute. The girl that I bought it from, they had put that carpet down there, which is kind of nice for your feet. And of course, this is the original floor. I just added that little rug. So then we come onto this side. And... Um, that stove is a nice four burner gas stove, propane stove, and it, it all works. The oven looks like it was hardly even used. I doubt it, it was even used. The people that owned it before, I think, were on the east side of Montana, and I don't think they really used it. Um, but what my project is going to be today is to put this aluminum backsplash in, which look how good that's going to look, especially against the stove. I just set it in there. I haven't... I haven't um, taped it in yet, but look how nice it's going to look. Wow, that's going to look so cool. I don't think I'm going to go all the way up the wall with it, but I think I'm going to go to like maybe right here. Um, then this is my little dish area. You can see my dishes. Got the vintage stuff going on in there. And Texas girls love their margaritas. And this little glass is a cute little find from the... Everything is like garage sale or thrift store. Um, this was from the thrift store, and it's perfect size for my moonshine. I have a, I have a taste for moonshine, so it's my, it's my peasant. It's part of my peasant taste. Um, and then this is the sink. Everything's in pretty good condition. This is the sink area. So those curtains are curtains I bought at Walmart, and then I adapted, uh, cut them, and adapted them and then I added the aqua pom-poms because everything's better with pom-poms. There's my patriotic flag. I've got to have a flag everywhere. And then in here, I forgot to bring it for the video, but I have a cute little cactus plant that goes in there because um, I kind of have the cactus theme going on in here too. So this bed is the main reason I bought this camper. <laughs> this bed folds out into like a California king or even bigger, like king sheets don't even fit it. So when you fold both those sides out, well, this side's folded out. This is my kind of day bed. But when you fold both sides out, it's huge. And I just think it's so cool. Otherwise, you could put both sides up into a couch. And then it's called the party model, this camper, because this opens up and it pulls out into this big long table, long thin table that comes out to here and people can sit on both sides and it's just like this big long party um, table. Not a wide table, a narrow like for playing cards or you know having a drink or whatever. But um, these are the original curtains to the camper. Most people cover this or take this out. I haven't made it that far yet because I don't know, part of me likes to leave, you know, some of the original in because, I mean, that's just so 70s right there, and it reminds me of my childhood, so I don't know if I'll ever do anything with that or not. I might, but what I did was I just left the original curtains in because they were in super good condition, and I got felt from the craft store, Hobby Lobby, and I just cut out little hippie flowers and I sewed them on with my sewing machine and then the little cactus. And I thought that just turned out super cute. And then I got these little cactus lights from Walmart. They're battery operated. And I think they just give it a nice touch. There's So every flower is different. Which I think it, it was so fun doing that. And it went really quick. Um, that's just a little thing I got from the thrift store. So those... Are the front curtains I usually just keep them closed the awning that's the rock guard it pops up and so more light usually can come in there and then on around to more flowers and that's my favorite flower I think that's super cool 
um, curtains. So yeah, all the windows work well. And then this is um, really cool. I had this since my childhood. This was a an an appliqued muslin bedspread that my mother made by hand. And this is all cotton. And I just thought that is so cool because I've been carrying that around with me all these years, not using it, not knowing what to do with it. And um, so that's obviously where I got a lot of my inspiration for the colors in here. So it's the aqua with the red. She's a Spanish dancing girl. And there's the cactus. This is a cool find I got in a garage sale the other day. It was already painted the perfect color, and that usually has wine in it. It's a wine holder, which is perfect for in here. And then I got that little table at Hobby Lobby and um, just has books and stuff on it. So this is my bed, and my little boy sleeps on this side. Um, has a curtain that goes across right here. Up here is a berth. It's storage right now, but it can fold down into another sleeping berth, like a full-size sleeping berth, but my little boy doesn't like to sleep up there, so we just leave it closed, and it's got that cute little window up there. So I just use it for storage, and then if I ever live in this, like if I ever travel and live in this, I've just got tons of storage. Um, and then I've got my my carbon monoxide detector, and it looks like it's 73 degrees today in here, which is nice. So, sorry, it's taking me a long time to do this. <laughs> um, this is the, oh, there I am. Hi. This is the bathroom, and that's the door where we came in. That's a nice storage closet. I'll show you that real quick. It's got hanging clothes. It's my place where I, if I need to hang clothes, that's where I do it. And then it's just got stuff I'm going to work on today and storage stuff. Shoes, extra shoes. This is my refrigerator. It's got pictures from camping trips. And it's this funky orange, which I love. And the guy told me, because I had my camper looked over by S&S camper people, and the guy totally... Um, screwed me over and he told me oh your fridge doesn't work the thermostat doesn't work well after I thought well okay great then I just used I, I used it as an ice box but then like by my third camping trip I'm like well I'm gonna try it and see if it works or how bad it because he's like the thermostat doesn't work it freezes everything well he was actually totally wrong because I think he was reading this um, it's actually perfect the freezer freezes and the fridge keeps everything perfectly cold. It works perfectly. So, what a jerk. And he charged like $95 an hour, which is really a ripoff. Um, that's what happens when you're a girl. You know, you, you, just, you just have to take it. Um, this is really another cute thing of my camper. So that's a tub. Check it out. It's like a little shallow tub and I have actually taken a tub bath in there. It's perfect. You can just get in and um, needs to be cleaned right now obviously. But um, it works great and the shower works great too. And then there's a vent that works. I love my little shower area. And then my little sink. And there's the toilet. And there's plenty of room for your legs in here. I've had an I've had campers before where you had no room to like your knees would hit the wall when you sit on the toilet. So, and that rug needs to be washed, but it's super cozy. It's really cozy. But yeah, so there's my little curtains, my little shelf. That's where I keep towels. So it's just perfect for me. I love it. And uh, sometimes I'll just keep this bathroom door open, but I'll go ahead and close it. Anyway, and here we are back out. So thanks for coming on a tour uh, with me of the camper. Take care. Bye.